So now in this video we have an LM358 wired as an adjustable light sensitivity uh, circuit. So the uh, red LED is lit right now. The lamp is at its brightest setting. So I want the LED to be lit only when the lamp is at its brightest setting. So we got blue. We're going to go down a little bit until it's red. And now when I turn the uh, lamp off, there you can see that the uh, blue LED went on. If I go even darker, of course, the blue LED stays on. Now I'm going to set the lamp to uh, the lowest setting. Now we'll uh, make it uh, red at the lowest setting. And we will uh, go up a little bit until we get to blue. So there we go. We got darker. Now it's uh, red, or brighter I mean. And if I get even brighter, of course, it stays red. So we can adjust the sensitivity of when the output's going to go high or low based on light level. And now we'll zoom in on the schematic here. So um, the non-inverting input is above the inverting input. On the physical component, it's in the opposite order. Uh, remember that. When we get enough light falling on the light-dependent resistor, that raises the voltage and we get a high output. We expect that. When it's dark enough, we have a low enough voltage right there and we have a low output. Uh, we expect that. Um, but the exact voltage is dependent on the voltage we set at the inverting input uh, right there. So if we set it, let's say, to uh, 2.5 volts, then uh, we need to get above 2.5 volts there to set the output high, and we'd have to be below 2.5 volts uh, when it comes to light dependent resistor voltage divider there for the output to be low. And now we'll look at the uh, physical component there. Of course you have to power the integrated circuit. There's two uh, op amps on here. One on the right side, output, uh, inverting input, non-inverting input. And there's also one on this side, but it's shifted up one because of where the power pins are. So output, inverting input, non-inverting input. At the non-inverting input, we have a 10K resistor there and a light-dependent uh, resistor there. We could also adjust sensitivity a bit with this resistor there, but uh, with the trim pot, uh, you know, that's all we got to change is the uh, trim pot uh, setting. Um, so we have the inverting input going to the trim pot. It's across the supply rail. It outputs uh, up to 5 volts or down to 0 volts since we're using 5 volts at the supply right there. And uh, this one pretty much does too depending on how much light is falling on it. It can go up close to 5 volts and down close to uh, 0 volts. Um, but uh, here we have the output there. So the blue LED is coming from the positive supply so that it lights up when the output is low. It's dark enough, basically connected to ground. The red LED lights up uh, when the output is high. So um, it doesn't actually get 5 volts. It falls a bit short. Um, but there you can see the path there. Yeah, I got to put the LED in the right way. Short lead the cathode more negative. Long lead the anode more positive for both of these for them to light up. Always remember that. Um, so lower value resistor for the red LED because they're not as bright. Plus we don't get uh, the full positive uh, voltage there of 5 volts. Uh, but the blue LED gets brighter at the uh, same current. So I got four times the uh, resistance there to really limit uh, current. Um, but yeah, we covered all these topics before in other videos for the most part. So we're going to end it there. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen. And check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.